Well, I'm clerk.ir, and uh, as soon as we get on here, we're going to see that we eliminate freelancer paperwork globally. And, uh, well, okay, forget about the slides. We're going to do this without it. So we eliminate freelancer paperwork globally, and we do this uh, th believing it's unfair. Come on, okay, there we go. So <laughs> clerk.ai, freelancer, eliminating freelancer paperwork globally. So we have self-driving cars. We got back flipping robots, but freelancers are still doing their own paperwork. And freelancers are just human beings with registered legal entities. So all of these solutions out there made for small business companies, small businesses, medium enterprises are not really there. We want something affordable, global, open, and simple. And we believe that the solution is a self-driving paperwork assistant that has access to your banking APIs, your invoice service, your inbox, and your location data. So we got. Uh, 200 million independent workers and about 70 to 110 million freelancers worldwide avail available to pitch around 5 to 40 euros uh, a month uh, for these kinds of services. And our MVP is simply connect with Gmail, upload a bank statement, and get the reconciled state expenses to Google Spreadsheets. It looks like this. So you connect with G Gmail, you Gra clerk is grabbing your expenses from your inbox, upload a bank statement, scans your transactions, and boom, we got it matched for you. So for nine euros monthly, we can help you forget five to 90% of your expense documentation. And we focus only on these things that we can do in seconds that traditionally takes uh, hours or days to do traditionally. And this means we can do whatever solution you use today, you will be uh, saving money and time uh, in employing that solution. In all, we can take, if it's about 10 billion hours globally, wasted on reconciling travel confirmations, receipts from your inbox with bank statements, we can remove 1 billion of those hours and have 10% less freelancer paperwork globally. We're a team of experienced uh, serial entrepreneurs. We've got uh, AI uh, staff, the best kind of uh, old... Uh, <laughs> Uh, JavaScript front-end magicians in the world. Uh, these are the guys that, that I just have dreamed for years to work with, and now they're finally here on our team. So far, we've been a startup sauna. We've been nominated to the 15 top uh, startups in Nordics. We were top 100 hyped startups in Web Summit, and now we're slush 100. We're going to be here for you at the end as the, the uh, suitable partner to end freelancer paperwork globally. I'm Fred. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, great style of the pitch. Um, I have actually three questions. Um, the first one, I, to be honest, I didn't really understand what the product does, apart from connecting uh, all different pieces. The second one is how large is actually the market for this? And the third one, what is about the custom acquisition? It's great to go after all these freelancers, but it might be very difficult to actually pitch one-to-one, uh, one-by-one customer. So three questions, thank you. Yeah, let's put this into this uh, perspective. You're a freelancer, you got a weekend coming up for you, you're doing 300 expenses, you're not going to do anything that weekend. But then after one meeting with Clerk, you may have only 100 left. So this is the kind of things where everything that a computer can do, a computer should do for the freelancer. Uh, going to the market, we have between 70 and 110 million freelancers right now, and it's growing. In the future, the gig economy is going to be the dominant way of workforce. Uh, and the, the, uh, the market is around uh, $40 trillion in the whole accounting space. The paperwork automation part of that is it's a niche and growing market, but it's going to be, uh, it's, it's growing. And it's already huge. All right, thank you for the pitch. I think this is a huge personal problem as well. Um, so why freelancers? Why is that your target market? Because freelancers are just humans with registered legal entities. They're just like, they're not businesses. And all the solutions that we found, they're fancy solutions out there. They're usually tailored for the, the business and not the person. This is why we use personal data, like location data and inbox contents, to make a per, uh, better service for them. Thanks, Frederick. Uh, so what about the competition? The competition is mostly the traditional accounting industry, which are automating themselves and becoming faster and stronger. But they're doing this to reduce headcount and making it better for the business and not for the persons. This is, 
basically resulting in lots of fancy solutions that are not available globally. We want to be able to address every single person in this world as an independent worker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.